2023 here at the Ventura County Fairgrounds, and the action continues as we get set to hand out yet another set of BMX medals here. It is the return of BMX Dirt Best Trick. Welcome inside the booth here, everyone. Jimmy Coleman standing alongside Scotty Kramer. We got Kristen Beat out in the field. And as we get set to kick off BMX Dirt Best Trick, you have to talk about Brady Baker coming off of that gold medal performance in BMX Dirt earlier today. It still doesn't feel real. I mean, Brady Baker, a kid that I grew up riding with at my skate park, just got a gold medal on the BMX Dirt course as a rookie with some of the biggest tricks that we've seen here today as well. So going into this Best Trick competition, I'm expecting more even bigger tricks than he did in the other run which is gonna be crazy to say yeah he's still got more there's more gas in the tank but you have to also have to talk about Ryan Williams it was the first time we'd seen him in the dirt competition made the final he walks out of here with a medal as well when it comes to best trick Ryan Williams I mean he's the first name that you think of because this guy has invented so many impossible tricks on BMX bikes but he's doing it on dirt now it's a whole different world he's fully capable we saw what he did in dirt earlier today and I'm excited to see how he's gonna push his sport and himself it's gonna be a jam session with some amazing amazing things on tap right now let's check in with Kristen before we get to it Scotty you mentioned dirt is a completely different environment it's constantly changing it's inconsistent so I have Andy Buckworth with me in what ways have the has the track changed since you guys started practicing on it today so all the week we've had a bit of a tailwind and uh, we all got accustomed to that we were getting that little helping hand from the tailwind pushing us over the jumps so we got really comfortable we knew our speed we were really calculated with that and then this morning when we showed up it was a headwind it was completely different we only had a very limited amount of warm-up and practice so by the time it came time to do the contest no one was really ready so it took our first couple of runs to kind of get comfortable again and that really played a part in you know the results for the contest but now we've come back to the dirt course things are a little bit more dry they're more ridden in so they're going to be faster because they're more ridden in and it's a tailwind again. So we've had a little bit of warm up and now we've got to get everything fine tuned again for best trick. But fortunately with best trick, we're just gonna pick one jump to do our best trick on. So now it's not a matter of speed and making it through the full set. It's a matter of just doing that one trick. Andy, best of luck, guys, an exciting course to follow. We don't have anything to break down now. He just took care of all of that for us right there. You talked about that earlier in the dirt competition about having to adjust with that tailwind. We also don't have the marine layer out here anymore as well. It is bluebird skies, but let's take a look at that start list right there. It's nine riders in the field here today. Ryan Williams is going to ride last. We started off with Caden Stone, but I mean, that is a stacked field. And as Andy said, I mean, you know, you just pick your favorite jump and it's, it's trying to impress the judges here with all the firepower you've got and hopefully you're walking out with X Games gold. Yeah, I mean, any one of these riders has a trick that the other rider on the on top of the roll and can't do. So it's going to be who can channel that energy, channel that focus and be able to step up. But I think that this competition right here could be the event of X Games. I mean, I said it about dirt as well, but this one, we're talking about one jump, one trick, one rider that's going to step up. I think these audience that are in attendance are going to be in for an ultimate show right now. Yeah, and that's the thing too, when it comes to these best trick events, I mean, the energy, these riders just, once things start going down, everybody feeds off of one another and then just keep pushing the limits as we take our first look at Kate wow. Stone. So oh. things off with a twister right there. So that is like a cork off access 1080. It's like a variation of the cash roll, which is a uh, pretty much, it's like a version of a front flip 360, but you don't officially like go forward like a front flip. You kind of use the uh, off axis rotation because you can see, watch, he'll like cut into the lip and he's like leaning forward and spinning. And then that last rotation of that 1080, it like rolls over itself so that's why we call it the uh, the cash roll version of it so he just sets the bar right there X Games rookie we saw him in Mega Park earlier in the week he was in uh, BMX dirt earlier today or, or the eliminations earlier in the week as we look at Brady Baker here walking out earlier with a gold medal in BMX dirt Brady might be trying something right here. Cash oh, roll, double tail, oh, oh, pedal to pedal. I think he shut off. I think he shut off. He was so focused on landing that tree. He's like, I made it. Oh, wait, I have to clear the third set. He just lawn darted it, ditches the bike, gets across right there. Oh, my. Gosh. That was a huge trick, but watch the rotation. You can see like his body's like moving towards the landing very awkwardly, catches the double tail, and then rolls over itself, 
He landed with his feet on the pedals. Rode away clean as could be right there. Kind of off to the left right there. It was like, oh, wait a minute. I still have to clear this next jump. <laughs> I mean, this is what we've seen out of the first two guys in. I mean, it's a 20 minute jam session. We haven't even gone through a minute and a half of this. Now we have, but I mean, look at what we've seen in the first two hits as we take our first look here at Tehachapi, California's Jake Leva. Jake Leva's got this such big Jake tricks. Leva. He's got so many in his bag. I have no idea what he's going to be bringing out for it, but there's a few of them that he could uh, send on this last jump. Okay, set up there for the first three sets. Going to do it on the last set. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's a crazy combination. So that's like a decky to 360 tail whip. So your body ends up doing a 720 total, but yeah, decky to three whip, nuts. So if you're watching this, you're wondering where are the scores? There are no scores in this one. It's just a ranking. So as the tricks go down and as things unfold, they're just gonna slide the names into the spot the judges feel they need to be in. So Brady Baker sitting in that top spot just under the 18 minute mark, taking a look at Jay Tui here. He does, he does own a medal in this event. He got a silver in 2021. The only other time this has been contested at the X Games. Whoa. Nothing from Light Flip, yeah. and he's looking for something oh, else there, Jimmy. I think he could potentially be getting a tail whip out of that, which is crazy to think about, but the timing is there. These riders are going to be using their runs, too, to be building up for that moment, because the tricks that they're going to be trying, it's not something you want to just go practice, but look at nothing from Bike Flip. Catches the bike with time. You can see he actually did like a little bit of a movement. He's like getting ready for something, so I'm excited to see what comes out. Yeah, I agree with you, because the way that he was looking back at that jump as he rode off and just the look on his face and knowing Jay, there was definitely going to be another combination that he wanted to put into that. But it's a jam session. There's a lot of time left, so he's going to get multiple shots at it here. So again, nine athletes are going to run in the same order as we go through this jam session. And basically, like I said earlier, no scores in this one. And uh, it's just a live ranking. So uh, best trick walks out of here with the gold. So Daniel Sandoval, we saw him earlier in the week. At Monster Energy BMX Mega Park. He did not make it out of dirt and eliminations for the final earlier today. We will see him later on today in BMX Park, but right now sending it on his first attempt at Dirt Best Trick. Sandoval is such a technical rider that has so many big tricks. Looks like the last set's gonna be the one. Oh, 360 double downside tail. He's looking for something else there. I saw him uh, shake his head when he landed. The question is, what's it going to be? He has so many of those 360 downside tail combinations. Like, I could base it off of like things I've seen in the past, but he could be doing something completely new that we've never even seen before. So that is Mike Varga up on top of the roll-in. He owns three gold medals. Those all happen to come in the form of BMX Park Best Trick. See what he's able to do here in Dirt Best Trick today. So it looks like he's going to be setting up for the last set as well. These riders get to pick whichever jump they want to use. The speed jump over the long and low to lead nice. spin in the bars. Yeah, he did the 720 no-hander to late bar spin right there. It's a, a trick that we've seen him do before. We've seen him do it in Mega Park, actually. He sent it out there, but let's get a slow-mo. See, the hands come off. Not the biggest extension ever. I know he, he wishes he had more there, but you got to go with what feels right. Sometimes you know, all right, I can't keep my hands completely off right here. The rotation doesn't feel fully right, but didn't we'll have, see if he progresses it. Didn't have the speed as well, because he ended up checking on the landing on that one. This is David Godziak. He won at BMX Dirt Gold in 2022. Goodness, what just happened there? That was a cash roll tail whip to down with. We are kicking it back the other direction at the end there, and it looked like it was going to work. It actually looked like it was all about the piece together, but there's something missing right there that he didn't get over the top of the bike, I'm guessing. Maybe the rotation wasn't right where he, when he kicked the tail back, but man, he was so close. So well, here comes the first of our fan tweets right there. These guys are putting it all on the line. The only other time this has been contested at the X Games, it was this gentleman right here walking out of here with the gold. This is Andy Buckworth. Yeah, Andy Big Show Buckworth, he's known Big for Show huge Buckworth tricks. Double back with no hander, absolutely no perfect. It's just crazy that a double backflip no hander, I'm not saying it's common ground because nobody else does it besides Andy Buckworth, but he could bring it to so many different variations of jumps and we're almost like used to seeing it, but he does it so good every single time and he can do more, which is crazy. Look, look at the extension. I mean, look where he tucks into the bars and I mean, those hands are off as far as they could possibly go and he holds them out there. It was beautiful. Like you, it, There's some riders that can't do a single backflip no hander as good as that and he just did it perfect right there. Yeah, you said it, this is his time to shine. Like, like, we'll see what the rank is. So right now it's Brady Baker, J2E, and Caden Stone in those top three spots. So again, no scores. It's just a live ranking out here in this Dirt Best Trick final. 
coming up on the 14 minute mark here in this jam session. Ryan Williams, he's another one. This is where he excels. When it comes to best trick events, I mean, this guy is an absolute machine. Oh, and he sends the Aussie oh. roll over the first. <laughs> oh my goodness. First jump. Wow. That was a trick that we saw him try in the actual Dur competition. He, he only tried to flip, he was right there, but he did it on the smaller jump, the final jump. But to send that over the 30-footer is bonkers. Wow. I had to react to that one. I saw, I, I, I just, <laughs> I'm still trying to process what just happened, and I saw that. Look at that, this is a eye. double backflip 360. Now, this, this trick was invented a couple years back. But look at this, the way that he spins, gets that 360 in that flip rotation. The last one ends up coming around like in more of a straight rotation, but that was perfect, beautiful. He found exactly where the landing was. Man, X Games mode sums it up. I was say, oh, and we have a new leader. Ryan Williams goes to the top spot here as we are working our way towards the 13 minute mark. And that will take us back up to the top of the order. Again, they will ride in that order. Okay, right. You can't see it on your monitor, but right in front of yeah. us, Ryan's walking up to the start structure and just cheering on the rest of the athletes and the crowd here, imploring them to make more noise here for Caden Stone. Oh, we're going for a 1440. That was crazy. Oh. <laughs> and it was really close right there. Wow, that would be insane if Caden gets this one. And it looked perfect. It looked really good. The way he was able to hold off that spin, get that rotation there. Wow, that's got to build a lot of confidence going into his next hit. Did you see how fast he got back up to run back to the start structure? He is not messing around. So we'll move on from Brady Baker. We're getting word that he has pulled himself out of the contest. We'll get word on that as we hear why. But right now, we take another look at Jake Leva. Yeah, so Jake was doing a trick on the last set. See if he goes for the same. It was that decade of three whip. Yep. Looks like he's going to set for the last one. Decade three whip. Oh, just didn't get the right rotation there. It's really crucial that he gets that first spin of the decade so that not only the timing opens up for the next one, but sets himself up to be able to kick that uh, 360 tail whip. So he was your bronze medalist in 2021. And this gentleman right here, he took the silver in this event in 2021. Jay Tui. It's Ryan Williams, Brady Baker, and Andy Buckworth, the top three here as of right now. Still lots of time left on the clock. Number six spot, here comes Jay. Oh, oh man, it's such a big man, jump. He's waiting so long for that right bike there. to come around, but he wants to do something out of that. Yeah, so. he's he's eyeing up a combo. You can tell by the body language there, so he wants it. He will deliver at some point in the next 11 minutes and 19 seconds. I guarantee you that. Let's check in one more time with Kristen before we get to Daniel Sandoval. Yeah, guys, just a quick update on Brady Baker. He did withdraw from competition. He said, listen, after this morning, after winning my first gold medal, I'm just not in the right mindset to compete here, and I want to start focusing on BMX Park best trick tomorrow. So he is just letting himself enjoy this one from the sidelines, guys. So there you go. So congratulations to Brady getting that first ever X Games appearance. You walk out of here with a gold yeah. medal. I mean, it, it, it takes what? time to just relax. After my first gold medal, if I had to do a competition, a best trick one after that, yeah, forget about it. So I completely understand. You know, Sandoval. Look at the height and yeah. the pop that he has on that 360. So he's looking for that last jump. These are all just prepping up for him. Let's see what he's got. One more setup of that long and low. Here we go to the last set. Double decade. Wow. <laughs> Sends that one around to the pedals. Ryan Williams loves it. Oh, that was so cool right there. A double deck, double, double decade is a scary, scary trick. To be able to get that rotation, bo you're bot bottling up your, like, your, your body above the handlebars, above the frame. Look at how tight of a ball he has to stay up with. Look at his, Look at his ankles crossed. are crossed up. Are you right kidding me? Over the top of the handlebars, two rotations. Uh. But he's got this trick figured out. He, he's, he's got the ticket for this one. He's, we saw him land this one on a throwaway run that he did in Mega Park. And like he landed at the same exact time as a bike. So when you have a big jump like this, to be able to open up and control it, beautiful. So Sandoval's going to jump up into the top three. He's looking at a potential bronze medal right now as Mike Vargas sends it down the roll in. Let's see what Vargas got right here. Looks like he's going to set up for the last jump as well. No, that was so close. 720 tail up to late bar spin on the second rotation there. I mean, there is so much going on in that. Yeah, imagine two, two rotations with your body, right? Two rotations with the handlebars attached. Well, actually, three rotations yeah. if you factor in the bars. Exactly. It's a lot going on. 
So coming up to the halfway mark here, again, it's a 20-minute jam session. Coming up on 10 minutes here, that is David Godziak sitting atop the roll in here. You can see the flag whipping around up there. Andy Buckworth was talking about that win at the top of the show. Let's see what Mr. Godziak puts down here in this round. Oh, so close. That was, is there something that looked like it might have fell off of his bike right there, actually? There's something on the landing, hopefully. Yeah, all right, so if somebody's getting that one, I don't want anybody to drop in while that's on there. But, man, that is such a difficult trick. I mean, and that's a trick that's going to put you right there at the top with the best of them. So a little over 10 minutes down, 10 minutes left to go. Just under 10 minutes left to go here at Fair's BMX Dirt Best Trick. No scores in this one, it's just a live ranking, and as of right now, it's Ryan Williams sitting in that number one spot, followed by Brady Baker and Daniel Sandoval. We got Andy Buckworth coming up next here. We saw a perfect backflip, double backflip, no hander out of him the first time around. Oh, oh he's, he's, looking, just, he's looking for a combo no. with the double backflip right now. I've seen him do this one before. This is a really nice jump for it. I think it's going to set him up with the right timing. He's trying to get that turn down and then do the no-hander out of that. I mean, this one, to me, is mind-boggling. To do a turn down in the middle of two vertical yes. rotations and to click into it like that. Yeah, because it's so important that your body stays rotating in those two rotations. When you do the turn down, your body ends up twisting up. So it's amazing that he could channel it and get it back rotating again. This one's going to be... This one's it. <laughs> this, this one's, one's it? I mean, you're already sitting in the top spot. Yeah, it scares me when he says stuff like, stuff like that. He's like, this one's it? Oh, he might be going for something that only he is capable of doing right now, Jimmy. I heard rumors about this. We're going to find out right now. Here it comes, Scotty. Oh, he went for it! <laughs> the nothing front bike flip, front flip. His signature move. Just imagine that. Doing a front flip, but also sending that bike for an extra front flip, detaching from it, trying to grab the grips and pull it back underneath from you. You can see that he barely got a hold of the grips right there. So he needs he needs to get that bike a little bit closer to him to be able to command it back underneath him. But there's there's hope. It's possible. He got dinged pretty good on that one, but he got back up and he's smiling. And then as he walks by our booth, he turns and smiles, and now he's talking to you. Yeah, he just told me it was just a little too far away. And like just like oh, I was man. saying. There's still eight minutes and some change to go here, so we'll definitely get another look at it. Oh, Maybe a go, second Kaden. one. Oh, yes! And he goes away! He did it! He just wow. tosses the bike after that one. Look at that tweet. These riders in BMX best trigger defying oh. physics right now. Oh, my goodness. So a twister would be a core 1080. That is a core 1440 right there. That was unbelievable. And it was perfect as well. I'm gonna lose my voice, Jimmy, uh, I, I think. I was gonna say, we still have part to do after this. Look at him just looking, looking and twisting, rotating around, coming over on that last rotation where the bike comes over, his body comes over the top of the bike. And it was perfect. He landed in control. That was unbelievable. Look at the way that he twists his head around into the spin there and then just tucks back in here right on the last rotation. So that, that rotation of that crash roll opened up so much for these riders to be able to achieve a 1440. I mean, a 1440 in BMX was impossible. Nobody ever thought it would be possible. Oh, we got a new leader. He's on top of the leaderboard here. How about that? Kate Stone has just overtaken Ryan Williams, and now it's Kate Stone, Ryan Williams, Brady Baker in the bronze medal spot, and there's still just under seven minutes left to go. This best trick competition, I knew it was going to be special, but from what we've seen already, the score has been pushed. Jake Leva setting up for one here again over this last set. Decade three with oh he's got he's got to get that rotation a little bit more. It looked like his speed got a little bit lost on that jump before. He needs every ounce of speed and momentum that he can get to go up over the top of that bike. Kate's like, all right, after that, uh, I'm on top of the leaderboard. I'm going to stop and I'm going to hang out inside some autographs. Good for him. <laughs> he deserves it. <laughs> oh, another look here at Jay Dewey.
Nothing from Bike Flip. Oh, he's looking for it, Jimmy. You can see right there. He's twitching. He's trying to set up it's, something. It's going to happen. The dedication, the focus that that guy has, it is going to happen, I promise you. It's not a matter of if, it's when. J2E is going to deliver the goods out here today with that one. Yeah, attempt number three, but we got another one. I think we're going to get another one around. Yeah, but the way this is rolling through, and like we said earlier, Brady Baker has stepped out, so now we're down to eight here. So uh, we'll definitely get another round of runs here. Daniel Sandoval back in. Yeah, he's looking for a trick on the last set right now, so he's just prepping up, just making his way over there. Let's see what he's going to bring. A couple of 360 setups here, so he's going to fire one off on the last set. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That is so complicated to break down right now. I was going to say, you got your work cut out for you trying to explain what just happened It's there. pretty much a decade bar spin to decade. Yeah. That's what it comes down to. So he did but, the double decade, but he's going to put a bar spin in between the two. And then to try to jump back around the head tube again after a bar spin? It's right there, too. It's, it's, it's possible. Okay, here comes Mike Varga. been firing it off over that fourth and final set with a straight shot here. What's he bringing? Seven tight tail up to bar spin. Oh, he pulls that down. one clean. That was in control. Uh, Varga's got to be proud of himself in his full X Games appearance so far. I mean, that was an amazing trick. And it was pulled so clean as well. He, he did exactly what he needed to do to fix it. Keep his body weight over the top of the bike. Just look at the control right here. 720 tail up. Catching it in complete control, going right to that bar spin, being able to rotate, get his weight over the top of that bike, keep his access straight up. He pulled it clean. It was perfect. Everything was where it needed to be on that one. Look at that. I mean, that's your body's doing two complete rotations. The frame goes around, another rotation, and then to throw the bars in that one as well. It's a lot going on. Uh, a lot going on. on. It's a lot to process and even in slow motion to try to explain the magnitude of what's happening in some of these tricks. But this okay. trick right here, this could be, this could up, 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 you know, completely take over Change the, the game up right the Yes, absolutely. Okay, David Godzak coming down the roll in. Oh, that was a whole different trick and he landed it! Oh my goodness! He went for a completely different trick. I'm pretty confident to say that he just did a 360 body barrier. Look at that. That was never been done. And if it's been done, it might have been hit before, but wow. That was, I mean, it was for, unreal. For him to just completely go a different direction and just try something completely different from what we saw the last time around. Wow. On a BMX bike, that's never been done before. I, I can't think of anybody that's been doing that one. That's crazy. I think that he might have done that one before. But just look what happened. He does the 360, but does an extra 360 with his body. Catches it and continues the rotation. I did not expect that at all. That wasn't on my radar. Did you see his, watch his right hand. Yeah, he finds the bike and look, he's got to get that right foot to be able he to missed. stop the bike, pull it. He found it the last second. That was unbelievable. He missed the grab coming around and he's holding on to the right side under the grip of the handlebars, comes back and finds the grip to land that one. Wow. The, I, I don't know how to judge this anymore. There's just too many impossible things happening. I don't know what to do at that this point. That was like some Moto X body burial best trick madness going on right really there. Was, here but you have a BMX bike trick. that weighs 25 pounds yeah. underneath the view. You got nothing there. Exactly. This is going to be huge right here. All right, so we're moving on to Andy Buckworth. We haven't seen the anything double change. Backward. Turned down to no hander. He got the one. This is, I need a break, Jimmy. I can't I know, handle this. I'm still waiting to see if anything was going to change with the top three, but it didn't. So it's still showing Kate Stone, Ryan Williams, and Brady Baker. But then here comes Andy Buckworth back into the picture. This is unbelievable. I'm still hung up on the last trick, but look at that backflip, double backflip turned down to no hander, and he did it loud and proud as well. I mean, again, to click perfectly into that turn down and then to take your hands off as well. Look at that. Yup, look at the no hander was, it was out there. That was a big trick right there. Oh my goodness. So David Godziak, now it changes. Oh, no, so right. David Godziak, 
will slide into that number two position. So he's looking at the silver medal. So it's Caden Stone, David Godziak, and Ryan Williams with just two minutes left to go here. So with time, Ryan's the last one of the run order. So with time still on the clock after this run, it looks like we will go into another round of runs here. Oh, I can't handle it, Jimmy. <laughs> I can't oh. handle another round here. Oh my goodness, here we go. What does Ryan Williams do this time around? Nothing from Mike Lim, and he lands at that time. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. I'm, I'm so glad that I'm calling it. I'm not a judge at this point. Because what we're seeing is BMX history being done over and over and over again. To try to describe the energy level that's going on with the fans right now, I mean, the amount of people, the sea of humanity that is out here. I haven't walked through a crowd like that in the next team. So, yeah, I mean, you got to go back to the San Francisco days. I mean, there were so many people out here, and they're loving every bit of what oh, they're seeing out here. That, nothing from bike with front flip. Only Ryan Williams does this trick, but it's never been done before on like a dirt jump of this caliber. Look at that car on the bike and just whips it around. I mean, oh, to pull, pull that back perfect. around, yeah. I mean, his feet are back on the pedal, but he's still completely inverted at that point and just comes around the rest of the rotation. Oh, this is yeah. unreal. But what's gonna happen here with the judges? <laughs> I don't know, I feel so bad for him, I really do. It is a lot to process. This, I, I feel comfortable already saying this is the best dirt best trick contest that we have ever seen, and we have another round left. So Caden Stone's not going to go for this next round. Brady Big is pulled out, so we move on to Jake Leva here. Jason chasing down that trick, the Decky to 360 tail whip. That's going to be this next jump right here. Oh, Jake gets this one done on the Decky three whip. Oh, he's doing it a little bit too early. Unbelievable. I just had a moment with Ryan Williams as he walked by, and I could see on his face how much that trick meant to him. Oh, this is crazy. This is this is just craziness right here. So time has expired. We will finish out the run order here so everyone gets the same amount of attempts here. So JJ to be back in. trick on this first jump. And he oh, sends oh, it and lands oh, it! Oh, 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 they told you! I said he was going to deliver, and it happens on the last attempt. Jay Tui making it happen. So that was Jay Tui's signature trick. He's the first person to ever do that one. Never been done before on the X Games. At the X Games, for sure, that was the first time that's been done, and that was beautiful. It was perfect. And it was over the biggest, scariest jump. He likes that. He's all about the big jumps. He says the bigger the better. He's not phased. Watch it again. Yeah, just watch this. He catches a bike and then somehow gets a tail whip going while the bike's upside down, working its way back down to him. I mean, how do you get that to come around in the position that he's in? Watch where he starts the whip. Yes, he's, he's like almost up, in a superman. Yeah, still. he's face upward. He absolutely <laughs> is in a superman still. Like the bike is not even in the same direction it's supposed to be and he somehow gets that tail of going and coming down this is unbelievable <laughs> we i just want to say i love my job i, I absolutely love my job oh i don't know that they could say the same in the judges booth right now their heads <laughs> are no probably way. on fire there's trying no to way i feel so this bad for out. them we have seen I this know, remain I, it looks like this is just going to be the reveal so on our, on our scoring monitor, we don't see the rankings anymore, so this one is going to be the big reveal at the end. It looks like I think we take our best. last look at Daniel Sandoval. Sandoval. Sandoval, if he gets this one right here, this is going to be huge. Dec oh, no, he lost the decade. No, Sandoval. Oh, he had to go back again to that last run where the decade bars spent the decade again. Oh, it's unreal. Impossible. But there's Caden, who is a great friend of Pat Casey, supporting Pat Casey. Every rider here is riding for Pat Casey. This one's for the crowd. Yes, that's what we want to hear. Oh, this one's for the crowd. This one's that, usually when he says stuff like that, this one's for the crowd. It also means it's for progression because this, this man does not know how to take his foot off the gas pedal when it comes to taking things to new heights. I'll say it again. I'll say it over and over again. We are so lucky to ri have Ryan Williams on a BMX bike. Look at that huge problem kissing that Superman on. Oh, he just bypassed that show. <laughs> I can tell you what, Ryan just made a 
whole lot of new fans right here. I mean, they all knew him already, but to see that happen in person over and over and over again. And what an X Games he's having. Take a bow, sir. Yeah, this is Ryan Williams' word, world. We just live in it. I love, that's, that's one of my favorite tweets right there. He's already got a gold in Mega Park. He got a silver in dirt, his first ever appearance in BMX dirt. A possible medal here right now. We don't know. They've taken the Look at the, the extension, off. Jimmy. The bike hit him in the back of his head in his back. He's just in full scorpion mode on that one right there. Oh, he is, he is the look where, his, man. look where his heels are. Best trick rider to do so many different tricks in a best trick setup. He's not signing off. He's delivering for the crowd. And, uh, like I said, Ryan Williams, we are lucky to have you in this sport. Grateful to be calling his runs and seeing him push our sport over and over again. So he was the last in the run order. There's no more time on the clock, so this is going to be the reveal moment. We don't know. They took the ranking off of our timing, scoring and timing monitor here, so we don't even know. So this is the big moment at the end. I mean, I, I, I can't even process. I mean, the ante was up every time. I talked about that energy and how they were going to feed off of one another, and I mean, this is absolute bad. And I hate that we have to just yeah. pick oh, one for gold because every one of those tricks, in their own right, deserve a gold medal. Everything that we saw right there, but we're about to find out. Okay, so they're in the two box. You got Ryan Williams on the left. That's Kate Stone there, Andy Buckworth, and now Ryan Williams on the right as well. So what's it going to be? There, there's a monitor right there in the athlete staging area. They're all waiting, and it's going to be Ryan Williams. Wow, Caden Stone getting the silver. David Gautier getting the bronze medal right there. That's right. Third medal. He's got two gold and now a silver on the weekend. Unbelievable. This guy, it was built for the X Games. He was built for these big moments. Wow, that's all I got to say, Jimmy. I can't handle this. Is that Cam now? I was just trying to listen to what Ryan said because he has so many awesome sound bites. But let's take another look. The nothing from bike flip, front flip right there. It sounds crazy to even say that. It's an impossible trick that he brought to reality. And look at that's the one he did for the crowd right there. X Games is lucky to have Ryan Williams. Absolutely. Everybody that's here watching in attendance got the ultimate show by him stepping on his bike today and just putting it on. So again, we talked about this dirt. It says check on your mates on the gloves. That's a tribute to his friend, Luke Berlin. Let's check in right now with Chris News with our winner. <laughs> a rider known for big one-off tricks. Ryan, throughout the day, there have been a lot of emotions. What is behind that for you? Yeah, obviously I'm out here riding for my best friend who passed away, Luke Berlin, but I'm also riding for Pat Casey. This should have been called. Uh, this should be called Pat Casey Dirt Best Trick. And look at me. I end up looking like Pat Casey at the end of a, a Best Trick contest. So I actually want to donate this whole purse, the prize money for this, all to Pat Casey's family. So I want to donate. I don't know how much it is, but whatever it is, give it to Pat Casey's family because they deserve it. I wish he was here dropping in with us. It would, the contest would have been even crazier. We love you, Pat. Let's go. Ryan, it takes a lot of bravery to get out there and land the tricks that you land. Where does that come from? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I just have ultimate belief in myself. You know, I grew up and I, I got picked on. But then I, who cares? Like, as long as you have belief in yourself, it doesn't matter what people say. People gave me crap for riding a scooter, so I just got so good at riding scooters that they didn't give me crap anymore. Start riding a BMX, they still give you crap. They're never going to stop giving you crap. Just believe in yourself, don't listen to them, and just keep smashing life. Seven career X Games medals. Yeah. Ryan Williams, enjoy it. Let's go. I can still get three golds, too. I'm coming for you, Travis and Shana, take care. Oh, my God. I mean, what a huge surprise. I mean, I, it's, that just, was amazing. it's not about prize money. It's not about it's medals not. for him. It's all about progression, but I mean, to give that money away, the prize money to oh. Pat Casey's family, man, that was huge. It's about the glory, but to share that, to share that money with Pat Casey's family, I absolutely love Ryan Williams. What an amazing person. That's David Godziak, Caden Stone, and Ryan Williams takes home his second gold medal of the week.